Dan Williams, Thrive Outdoors. Today, we're going to show you how to have clean water everywhere, anytime. They have been reviewed numerous times, but we're going to put these head to head and show you their actual use. So, um, Catadine Bee Free, one of my favorites. The Sawyer Mini. We're going to talk about the iodine tablets. And this has been out about two years. A lot of press on this. There's two sizes. This is the cheaper one. This is the Grail Ultralight Press. And the big thing behind this one is, is it takes care of everything. Uh, viruses. So it's been many years since they've had one that comes out and takes care of viruses, bacteria, protozoa, you name it. Um, so we're going to go through this one also. We're going to put them against each other head to head on a dirty creek. Here we go. Up to bat number one is Sawyer. This is the mini squeeze and what's nice about this is that it fits right onto a smart water bottle, which many of you know. And it works. Now, the deal is, is that so this is an old Sawyer mini squeeze when they first came out. It says on here 0.1 microns absolute hollow fiber membrane water filter. Uh, a human hair is 70 microns in diameter. We're talking about a virus being 0.1 microns. Sawyer did a retraction, gosh, 15 years ago, that it does not take care of viruses, FYI. Uh, it does take care of Cryptosporidium, Giardia, and all the main ones you need to know about. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fill up this. Well, not fill it up, but at least get some of this. It doesn't look too bad. It's pretty cloudy uh, in this creek slash river slash whatever. Now, I know for a fact there is cattle runoff, and cattle definitely carry Giardia. In fact, all hooved animals and even muskrat, beaver, squirrel carry Giardia. Important to note. Put this on here. If you have a creek that's got a lot of sediment, then you're gonna to need to take a bandana and something to filtrate that before you do this. And this is about the rate that it comes out on the Sawyer squeeze, which isn't bad. So that's the Sawyer squeeze. And I just wanted to show you how fast. Now you can, and you should, back blow these and black back clear these when you're done you can do that or you can take a syringe and, and flush it back to clear your filter very very important to do because if it gets clogged then your chances of getting an organism increase so your squeeze so my favorite is the catadine be free and this one, I'm going to take some of the water, and again, I want to show you, yeah, you see the, the rate at which that is coming out of the filter is much stronger than the Sawyer Be Free. And this has gotten a lot of good press. It's light and works really well. Now with the Sawyer and the Catadine Be Free, I recommend in your pack, these are very light, I really recommend either the Nalgene Canteen, which is really nice. It has a very strong loop here that you can hang it on your pack, or I recommend the Platypus, which is awesome, and it will carry up to a little over two liters of water. Very durable. And the last but not least is the Grail, G-R-A-Y-L. This is the ultralight. They do make one larger. This is for the 16 ounce. The larger one is like 100 bucks, and this is like 70, it's cheaper. Uh, the filter, I would advise getting a filter. The um, filter will go about 300 presses. So, and the filters aren't that bad, they're like 25 bucks. So they tout this as the holy grail. 
and it has been independently tested and takes care of viruses, norovirus, hepatitis A, pretty impressive. So if you're one of those preppers and you're concerned about the S hitting the fan, then this is the one you're gonna want. So you, again, I don't know if you can see in there, it is cloudy. You put that on there. I would leave this a little loose for pressure and you just slowly put downward pressure on this and it has charcoal in the filter as well. Make sure you're all the way to the bottom. Look at that. Look how clear that is. That's fantastic. Wow, I mean, that's as good as coming right out of the faucet at home. Pretty impressive. I wanna mention the portable aqua tablets, iodine tablets. Um, these work fine for a gallon of water. Uh, I believe it is, how much is it? Some are one, some are two tablets. Depends on the milligrams. This is two tablets for a quart. And yeah, you get a little bit of a funky taste. But I'm here to tell you again, the iodine tablets does not take care of cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium, to get that out of even bleach, doesn't take care of it. So you really need to boil it or have one of those filters and you'll be fine. So I'm gonna put down the prices in the, down below in the uh, description section of each one of these. The benefits, in my opinion, clearly with the Sawyer Squeeze and the um, Catadine Be Free, very lightweight. Put them in your backpack, go on for a weekend, works fantastic. The Ultralight Grail, I mean, it's wonderful. It would fit into your backpack. You're going to have to sacrifice one of your pockets, and it's a little heavier, clearly. So really, A, it depends on where you're going. B, how far and how long you are gonna be gone. And that's gonna really be dependent on which one you're going to take. Uh, if you're nervous and you're anxious about drinking the water, then I would go with the Grail. If you feel pretty comfortable with um, Cryptosporidium being taken out with the Catadine Be Free and the Sawyer Squeeze, take those, that's fine. So that's it. Those are my recommendations. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Keep your eyes on the rise and your face to the wind. Take care.